My name is Douglas Bito. I'm the speaker of the County Assembly of Makweni. And you've asked why we believe that the police or the government is responsible. The speaker has indicated to you that the County Security and Intelligence Committee had invited him for conversation. So the last conversation about disappearance or disappearance around police. Two, for any Kenyan or anyone to ask that if someone disappears in this country, where can you locate that person? It's obvious it's like when it's raining and you're looking for insects. They're hollow. It is obvious that abductions are the way of life in this country, not yesterday, not today, for the last few months. The LSK has been on this case. Not this particular case of Wajia, but many other cases, including the Kitangela. If for whatever reason that the police and government believes that this person is not in their hands, they ought to have provided information to the citizens of Kenya. This is not an ordinary person. It's a person elected to represent <coughs> other citizens. And therefore, if an elected member can disappear in this republic, then it means the lives of our mothers, the lives of our children, the lives of our women, the lives of the sick in the hospital, they are not secure. Government will not exist primarily to offer health. If they exist to offer security and protect property of its citizens, that is the primary <coughs> responsibility. It is not about shift. It is not about development of roads. It is not about the other nonsense we are hearing. What we require in this country first is protection of lives of the people, number one. Two, protection of the property. Then the rest of the things will be resolved. Thank you very much. Thank you.